It seems like a lot of people are asking me about uh, nerves on stage. And you have yeah. performed over a thousand times, at least, you know, on, on major uh, concerts. What, um, what's one thing that you do, or is there some kind of, you know, um, meditation thing that you do to get yourself ready for a concert, or is it just something that happens? Well, I've never really had an issue with nerves manifesting themselves physically so that I have really bad symptoms like sweaty hands or shakes or nausea or anything like that. Um, whenever I used to take tests in school, my mind would get really clear mm. and I was really comfortable with it. So I think I have a good physical response to adrenaline. But some people wind up not being able to think clearly at all. And I think you have to find out your own physical response to um, excitement because really it's not it's not nervousness it's excitement hmm. and your body can can show that negatively or positively and you can have some influence over how that shows up I think whenever you um, whenever you aren't experiencing that excitement or that little extra edge you're not going to perform as well so it's a good thing it keeps you on your toes it lets your body know that this is time to deliver on something important. And, um, you know, it's a really good response to have. So you should feel happy that you have that. Mm. Um, but if it starts to get to you, you can think about um, relaxing certain parts of your body. So, for example, I find sometimes if I haven't eaten right in a concert day or if I'm tired or something, sometimes the excitement can just kind of be a little too much, and I'll be on stage playing a slow bow, and my arm, my hand will start to shake just a little bit, and that's more from an imbalance of energy in my body than from nerves, but what I do, I find that if my hand is shaking, if I relax the front of my shoulder, and I relax um, the top of my forearm, for me, those things work, and it makes it so that even if my arm wants to shake, it won't. Hmm. And it's not a matter of going limp. It's a matter of finding the certain areas of your body that trigger those negative responses and sort of calming those parts down. And you can only do that if you perform a lot because right. you're not going to get that same feeling in a practice room. You're not going to you know, get it in the lesson usually. You only get it on stage. So if you have nerve issues, actually be glad that you have them because it's a really... Um, it's a really positive thing, and it's something that will help you as a professional musician, and it lets you work on it before it becomes a real problem yes. later on. I really like so. that you're zeroing in not on the where the problem is manifesting, but where it originates. I think that's really right because your hand doesn't shake on its own. Right. You know? Well, unless like, you're. It's all connected yeah. to a bigger a bigger set of motions. Right. So, if you can take it away from the problem and focus on another part of your body, it may simply be that for me, but. Um, it makes a huge difference. And, you know, one thing just to remember is when you're performing, people aren't judging you. You know, they're not there to see you fail. And if they are, they shouldn't be there. Right, exactly. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's no one's business to, to hope that you'll do a bad job. People are there because they want to see you do well. Mm -hmm. And they're there to support. And they're there because they want to hear a good performance. And a good performance can take many different shapes. It can be a really expressive musical performance. It can be a really accurate performance. It can be um, a really touching personal kind of performance. And it doesn't have to be all of those all the time. If one thing isn't working for you, but you've prepared you know, for the performance, but it's just not happening, don't worry about it. You know, Figure out after the fact what you can do to make that better next time. But focus on the things you're doing well and try to do those even better. Yeah. If the technique isn't working, try to be more musical. Mm -hmm. If you're losing your place in the music, well, you're going to lose your place anyway. So try to be more musical mm -hmm. in the process. Or try to just lighten up. And if you have to stop, you have to stop. And you just say, oh, whoops. <laughs> and you go back and try again. Right. And people, they want to enjoy it. So they're not going to hold it against you or anything. So That's absolutely, just yeah. give it a shot. Give it a shot over and over again. And um, you'll learn a lot when you play a piece more than once in front of a, an audience. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Hillary. I appreciate you taking the yeah, time during you. your tour. And best of luck to you at your tour. We'll be, uh, we'll be watching. So okay. Should be good. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. See ya. Bye.